a fucked up Jamaica high for everybody on this earth. Fucked up high. Fucked up night yesterday. And not obey. White men and white women don't come here to not obey. Really. We get ripped off. Fuck, I bet you I bet you it's all over Jamaica. Went in the bar last night, gave the guy a thousand dollars. Everybody says, no, you only gave him a hundred dollars. I seen him, I seen him give you a hundred. I said, fuck you guys, I gave him a thousand. You fucking thieves. Walked to another bar, exact same fucking thing happened to me. Every bar here in Anato Bay, except one, is fucked up, man. They steal from you. I went to the police department and complained about it. Said, man, all these bars are just stealing my fucking change. Saying I gave him a hundred when I gave him a thousand. And the cop says, you know what? He just started mumbling on, you're gonna have to ask for an alcohol ticket. Where you pay money and once the money's gone, the alcohol's gone. And I just looked down and walked away, you dumb idiot. I looked at the cop and I said, yeah, well, I know why there's no white men here, no white women here. It's because your fucking attitudes here you have towards the thieves. Yeah, hey, I bet you it's all over Jamaica. We have fucked up life, man. Lighter's gone. Money's gone. And the white man's gonna be gone soon. Yeah, my body's telling me get the fuck out of here and not obey. It's just fucking hounding me right now, telling me to get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Well, if you guys come in to Jamaica and go into a bar, you look at everybody and go, Hey, I'm giving this bartender a thousand dollars, and that's what I'm going to do from now on. And I don't think I'm going to go in any more bars. I'm not here and not obey anyway. They're all thieves, every one of them. Well, the reason why the other bar is a thief, somebody told me the bartender will sit there and text all her friends when somebody comes in the bar and she'll fill up the bar and then everybody will demand drinks. So the bartender gets money, everybody gets a free drink. Yeah, I think that happened to me in this one bar. The bartender doesn't even talk to me no more, so, uh... I can't even go to that last bar either. One hasn't ripped me off yet. Everybody doesn't like me here. Nobody does. Of course, they take advantage of you, and when you say no, then they're not your friend no more. You say no to them, they get violent. They get very violent with you. One more story. It's watering this guy's... This guy gives me marijuana every day. Just a little bit. So I had a guilty conscience. I went up on the mountain, see what I could do for him. Next thing I know, I'm watering all his marijuana plants while he's playing on a computer game. Playing a computer game on the internet. 
So last night I said, he goes, yeah, yeah, you know what? You can have any plant you want to, Gringo. Just keep up the good work. And I says, you know what? I'm paying over $6,000 a month in gasoline to come up here. I said, by the time you harvest, it's going to be about a month and a half, two months. So there's $12,000. $12,000 for one plant, it's not even worth my fucking investment. I'd rather just best buy the shit from you and you pay somebody to fucking water your plants for you. He got pissed off at me. Fucking went all to my, all my friends and started screaming, yelling, saying a, a fucking low life and... Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard. So, uh... Yeah, I lost a friend yesterday, too. As a matter of fact, I don't think I'm gonna ever find a good friend in Jamaica. Not yet, I have found one. They've all borrowed from me, they all used me. And when you say no more, uh, they just say fuck you. So it's good advice for everybody, just don't become a white nigger for somebody, a white slave for somebody, and uh... Stay out of the bars. Stay the fuck away from the bar, should I say. Far away from them. Well, until next video, I know it won't be a Nautil Bay. I gots to go.